called My Little... Okay, I tried this Tuesday night and Wednesday night. After several times playing with this loom, I think I finally have it figured out. So we will see if it does everything that I need it to do, if it will save, if it will download, play correctly, and then I can upload it to YouTube. That's like one of the downfalls that I've heard about Loom, but I've played with it so much this last week. That's why you haven't seen me own yet, because I didn't want to do my normal thing. I want to go a little bit different and go ahead and change some things up. Um, so I think one of my things that I was thinking about doing on Thursday um, was just kind of talking about things that may empower you. Kind of like a thirsty, thirsty speech. Uh, I'm not really speech. That's the wrong word. A thirsty, thirsty thing. Kind of get it, girl. Um, what my bosses used to say um, to me. Uh, but um, kind of like the um, boss girl, boss lady thing that you see everywhere um, all over Instagram and whatnot. Kind of just going over things that will help you guys to you know, do better on YouTube, do better if you have a website, um, or if you want to call it a blog, I call mine a blog. Speaking of which, I want to show you guys my latest and greatest upgrade. Not saying that I'm great, I just think my blog's awesome. <laughs> so, anyway, um, see what you think, and let's take a look at it. And it actually follows me down here, it wasn't doing that last night. Okay, yeah, I know I need to change that picture out. That's one of the things about these sliding pictures. Once you upload the pic until you go check it out, you never really know exactly what it's going to look, look like. But this is, of course, my home page. And then my little section's right here. And then um, my little uh, Pinterest. My, um, let's see if Pinterest is actually working correctly today. Sometimes I'm, oh, I'm not going to do all that. Yeah, that's why I've got to reload my um, socials to my blog. So we'll take care of that later on. not going to fool with all that at the moment. And then um, also, too, though, it does go to my YouTube channel. Uh, it goes to uh, Twitter. And then it goes to, I do believe it does go to Instagram. Let's check that out. So, oh, that is one of the things I wanted to go over with you guys really quick as to what I was talking about the other day. Um, that, um, oh, and I was super happy because when I Googled uh, myself, I did actually see me linking to Amazon. They did for me to have a store. Um, so I need to get that set up. See my pretty flower? It's right outside the window here. That's awesome. And my little picture that I've shared there. And, um, because I read some of my comments here. And then, um, <laughs> what picture that one of my friends shared that I had to share. And, yeah, just some little random things going on there. And so that's me on Instagram. I, the reason why it is the very, uh, why I am the very unpopular mom on Instagram, not that I'm not, but the reason I am is because I think I messed up or either that or somebody else that already claimed the unpopular mom. And so, not sure which happened first though. And so that is um, Instagram. That's where I want you guys to share it to me, uh, with me at is on Insta. If you guys um, do have it there, if not, if if you are on Instagram, as well as by that. Um, and then if you're not, you can actually take a screen share of um, sharing, or if you just want to hit the share button, this on YouTube, like, let's see here, the share button, let me show you guys that real quick, so you know what I'm talking about, sorry, our internet speed could be horrible, I think that's why I've been having such a hard time um, with getting the loom to work the other night, then last night I had a very weird, very, very strange error message over here after I thought the thing had already played. Go figure. And I don't know why it keeps going up and down, up and down, up and down. Sorry guys, couldn't resist. And so, um, anyway, um, I was gonna say, let's check this one out. I love my little thumbnail there. Worked hard on all those mock-ups with some mock-ups there. Okay, so we have me talking. We don't need me talking, but I'm not gonna mess around with the um, 
mute button there because Lord only knows what that might do. Um, but anyway, of course, here is the share button. So when you click the share button, you can actually come over here and scroll. And like I say, you don't have to actually, I don't even know what the hell that is right there. Um, you can share it on Pinterest. You can share it. I'd love it if you shared it on Pinterest. Um, you know, Twitter, I don't really care about that much. It's just there. But if you do want to share it, um, wherever you share it, and I'm not on Reddit, not on Blogger, because um, I have my own bloggy blog, and then uh, not sure what that mix is. I do need to set up LinkedIn a little bit better. I think I created a LinkedIn. You can also email me though at um, the Impopper Mom at the Impopper Mom dot com. So you do have multiple ways to show me that you shared. This is how you get a shout out. Um, you should be able to share it on Instagram. I don't know why Instagram is not there. Um, but you can share it, you know, if you want to take a picture and then you want to go, you know, pull up your Instagram um, on your phone and just share it real quick on there and tag me. Um, you know, you can tag people that way on Instagram with the little hashtag. It will notify me that you did. Um, so that's how you can do it. Or you can email me just showing that you shared it. You know, if you shared it on your Facebook page, that would be awesome too. If you shared it, you know, somewhere that's going to help me and help you out as well there um, too. So like one of these, you know. And so anyway, on my bloggy blog, um, the reason why I have certain articles like this, um, I was kind of going through Susie's course and that's what she recommended to start with, so that's what I did. And, you know, it just seemed to fit as well. If it doesn't fit, I'm not going to do it. If it doesn't fit my personality, etc. And so here on YouTube, on this YouTube spot right here, okay, it does link to my YouTube. However, what I want to do is do it to where it's like a landing page there and then set up, um, actually there's my little Instagram um, share you know, button right there. Um, but it does actually link it to um, Sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought there, guys. It's been a long day. I got up at 6 a.m. this morning to um, start blogging, so it's been a very, very long day. And I usually just don't go to bed like that. It's like, um, okay. <laughs> my brain has officially stopped working. We're in trouble now. And so I'm not going to take up too much of your time. Um, but I did also want to show, let's see here, that is one of my landing pages, it's not my favorite one. Um, I'll show it to you real quick. That's where you can go to get your freebies, I'm uploading more freebies, and I do need to go ahead and do a, well this one is alright. Um, I do need to do a, um, like a list of the freebies I have created so far, probably will upload that to the resource center like this weekend and have that up on my blog for you guys. This 90 days of content is very cool. And so when you sign up for it, you're going to get a um, little email just thanking you for um, signing up. It's going to let you go ahead and download it though. And then um, if you want my other downloads in the future, just let me know. And let's see, it should automatically come to you though. And so Canva, I did also want to show you guys in Canva some um, neat little features. Now on my blog, I actually didn't post it this morning. I was going to have that up and ready, but it wasn't. So I'll just kind of go over it with you. I do have a pen that I was creating for it as well. That one that I did create. So let me go ahead and show you that one. I can sit here because my voice is getting dry. So it's getting dry, should I say? Alright, so seven things you didn't know about Canva. You might know, but, you know, I should call it seven things that, seven unknown secrets to Canva. Seven hacks about Canva that you didn't know, something like that. Okay, so if you didn't know, you can publish it directly to Pinterest. Now that I have figured out Loom, if I can get this to upload all the way, I will start showing you some of the things I've been talking about and promised and have scheduled out in my next 90 days content planner. And if with those mini classes, I'll be doing some more handouts that will help you guys out a whole lot. 
and it's important to go ahead and get yourself out there because like look um, when I did I just want to show you this really quick I did a search of the unpopular mom because we've been busy bees the unpopular mom alright that's my YouTube channel showing up on Google as the first result woo -hoo -hoo. Um, my playlist is there um, there is my Twitter feed right there. And then we have my Pinterest. And Oh, I do want to show you guys. You do need to actually... I know we have some similar name blogs out there. I hate that, but... Okay, even though 17.2 thousand seems pretty high, and it is. Actually, I was at 34 thousand, but because I haven't been putting a Pinterest... Um, uh, pins up. I have been sharing some, but then I also turn around and I want I was creating pins for my blog post that I don't have up yet, and so I've kind of been slacking on the Pinterest. Tailwinds is supposed to be really good for that, and then there's something else. But with Tailwinds being another app, sometimes that can be really bad. Um, not really bad, but you know, just a few other little steps. Um, you can go ahead and click publish to Pinterest. I'm actually waiting until my blog post is done on um, that. I did actually have two blog posts I'm working on this week about Pinterest. And well, not just Pinterest, but Pinterest and Canva. And so, um, let's see here. You can share these in the most popular ones, so you do know about that probably. If you even use Canva. If not, I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys. And um, let's see, that it will actually be a little affiliate link um, at no additional cost to you, even for the free one. If you want to click on and do the free one, you can actually do a lot. I did just get um, approved for the Canva affiliate program as well. And so what I did want to show you mainly is this little present record, which I'm not going to click on at the moment. But guess what? It will actually put you down here as well. But the one thing I don't like about it yet is that it will not allow you to change tabs. That's one of the first errors that I was running into because when I played it back, y'all were just looking at me talking down here. And this, the circle is a little bit smaller, which is no big deal because you can go through and actually change the sizes. I like me being small and down here, so I'm not huge. And then um, we do have it where you can um, Save it to your, um, you can either email it, you can uh, save it to your Google Drive if you haven't linked to it, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, MailChimp. I use ConvertKit, so in the future I will be doing a video about that. I did just go ahead and actually watch Sunny Leonard Doozy's MailChimp video. It was actually part of our batch class that I've been taking. <coughs> Sorry. Um, that I've been taking and she did a very easy step-by-step -step process last night and um, I did get around there and play around with it a little bit so I might wind up liking it more than ConvertKit but ConvertKit is pretty easy and basic and you get a lot of free stuff with ConvertKit in the free program. LinkedIn profile page, LinkedIn page, didn't know there was a difference. Um, <laughs> Then you can do all these handy dandy things. You can do t shirts, apparently, business cards, print posters, flyers, gift certificates, print infographics, print cards, letterheads. I'm not going to keep reading the list to you, but look at all the stuff that you can do. You can embed it in your website or your YouTube video. Um, there's the website. I've got to look at that a little bit further. And then, um, actually, I do need to look at that a bit further there. That's interesting. And Microsoft PowerPoint, I didn't know that was uploaded with Canva. I have been playing around with PowerPoint as well lately. And so let's see, you have all these other things. I know, don't know about a lot of them down there. And so that is what I wanted to show you in Canva. And then I'm going to link my post, my blog post to it when I link this here so that you guys can go through it and see what I'm talking about. And that way you don't have to hear me and with my crackly voice unless you want to. Um, <laughs> I thank you guys for those that do want to. And then there's all kind of handy dandy things that you can do. Oh, let me move you guys over. There you go. Because I want to show you an element. 
too. I don't know if you guys are familiar with mock-ups. Is it going to be too slow for me to show you? Probably. Oh, that's interfering with. So let's get this over. Elements. Don't know if you guys have been here. This is really, really cool, guys. I created one of these. Let me actually do that with you on camera really quick here. I'm just going to make it simple. I'm going to go ahead and drag this little puzzle piece over here. I love this. This is so cool. We're going to go to Photos. And look, if I just grab that photo right there. So that's Pro because I have the paid version since I'm doing it on the blogs. And then you can change the background if you want to, like, say... Yellow is going to be too much. Yeah, yellow is definitely too much. So I do something like that. Mm, that. That. You get my joke. If you want to bring out the browns in, the, in there and see how that looks, let's go page. You can type in the color. You can Google the hex number, put the hex number in there. Um, if you want to make it that, see? almost makes it pop too much, but you get my drift. You can make the color piece different colors. You can make, um, do a lot of different things that you want to. I like those sweet cupcake <laughs> colors. That's pretty cool. Um, the way it does that. And then, um, you can do that. And then I also have uh, folders. Um, if you do the paid version, or even in the free version, you can download things to the folder. I love mock-ups, if y'all don't know. I'm not obsessed with mock-ups, I just really like them a whole lot. Uh, let's see here, that one I designed. Uh, the thing I designed it is a little bit misleading. Um, I downloaded the template um, from a girl on Etsy, and I can leave the link for that down below. And then I was able, she had some really easy directions, because I'm not good at this techy stuff at all, believe it or not, um, <laughs> as you probably know, because my editing skills still suck, um, but um, that was actually supposed to be the, just to give you an example, that was supposed to be this little iPad down here, and you can see that an iPad, if I had kept playing with it, probably would have worked a little bit uh, more, and then you had this picture right here, mock-ups everywhere, they're everywhere. And so then we had this little, that's my cousin, uh, showing her how to use it. She has her own website she's getting up as well. I think she may have already launched it. And if you wanted to put little pictures and copy this over to your blog or your YouTube channel, whatever you want to do there, you can do that. Really cool. I love mock-ups. Love them, love them, love them. And like, see on um, that little um, iPhone right there, you could go and grab a picture. Where my pictures go? I think I'd go here. There we go. Like, say, if you want to grab this over. Oh, it's almost there. Sorry, our internet speed is sucking. Which is definitely interfering with me trying to stream on here. There you go. See? That's so pretty. That was my baby. I may go ahead and download that, but I'm not my baby. My baby's a lot older than that, y'all. Definitely. And so that's some of the fun little things that you guys can do in Canva. So I hope this has been helpful. Not really a tutorial because I would have been a lot more organized, believe it or not. And that had been a bit more planned out for you guys if I was doing a full uh, blown Canva tutorial or Pinterest or a combination of both. And they go hand in hand, especially for me, because that's what I use. And so there you have it. And I'm going to go ahead and sign off on this, guys. And thank you guys, and you can expect a lot more of this on my blog and my YouTube channel as well. So go ahead and sign up for all the 
freebies that are coming up on the blog at theunpopularmom.com and then you can go and grab your freebie right from my homepage. It's this little second one, I believe it was. Just click on that. That will take you to actually click on that. That, that will actually take you to, oh, I do have a new um, one that I'm uploading tonight, a freebie. Um, and hashtag, um, let's see, 30 uh, days of hashtags um, for you guys. And then you will also find more of more content available in the 90 day content calendar that is currently out there. Oh, that was one thing I was going to show you in Canva. Um, I mean, just save that for another future lesson, though. And um, so just follow me, and you guys can get updates as to when I do either go live or because um, I may try going live soon. And let's be our fingers crossed and hope this does well. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.